it's 2.20 a.m. in the morning, in the middle of the night, and I just had a beyond body experience about 10 to 15 minutes ago. So I guess I'm going back to my usual time with doing the beyond body. Now, I have to tell you that I had been trying to either leave my body or go beyond body for most of today on and off. I would shut my eyes, take a nap, and I was simply dreaming. I wasn't going beyond body. And it got into the evening and then it got um, later into the evening until, well, now it finally happened. And let me get right into it because while it was an extremely quick experience, it was an interesting one, a very, very interesting one. So again, you know, about 10, 15 minutes ago, I had shut my eyes. I went to the restroom, shut my eyes after I got back into bed and I was just laying there. And I would say within, well, it wasn't too long, I felt that shift of consciousness I always talk about, like a light switch flipping on. Suddenly, I was in this other place that I could sense. This, and I had this, this sense of awareness. And at that point, there is a feeling of motion. And this was not this, you know, sometimes I, I know I tell you that I take off. It was like I'll suddenly accelerate forward. But this was more of a, I believe, from the short distance that I moved, this was a, a very kind of a short trip. I didn't go very far. I felt myself move over the bed and... At one point, I stopped. Now, normally what happens with this sense of movement that I have is I'll move all the way over the bed and then I'll hit the ground. But I did not do that this time, not right off the bat. This time I froze in the middle and I sat there and I remember I was thinking to myself, I wonder what's going on. I wonder, am I going to come out of it? What's what's going on? Am I going? Are my eyes just going to open right now? Did I do something wrong? I'm not sure. But then, after being there for a while and after kind of thinking certain thoughts, I went the rest of the way down to the floor. And in my mind, I thought, okay, I just need to let go. And it's something that I always tell you to do as well. It's this. This, this thing of letting go, just let go, just let go. And that's what I did. And as I did that, when I went to the ground, I then felt myself slide to the right, which was weird because I don't normally, that doesn't normally happen. So um, once I hit the ground, that's usually it. I felt myself slide to the right, and then I felt a force put me on my feet. Like literally, it took me and it stood me on my feet. And then at that point, that same force made me flip backwards. So I did a back handspring, like I went to my hands, I felt my hands when I went backwards and I came onto my feet, basically a backflip. Now, for those of you who watched the previous episode, I did a front somersault. And of course, at that time, I told you that when I was younger, I did gymnastics when I was younger. So this back handspring, it was a bit more complex of a move, but after I had achieved it, I actually gave myself a round of applause. I was clapping because I was like, wow, I haven't felt that feeling in, in a, quite a long time. So 
At that point, the scene began to reveal itself. My surroundings became visible. And the first thing that I saw was the a part of a, a washer. Now, for those of you who live in apartment buildings, I'm sure you know those generic washers that are washers and dryers that are in a laundry room. And that's what this was. This was just a generic washer of some sort. So I guess I was in the laundry room and then I looked and the entrance didn't have a door. It was wide open. There was no door to it. And outside of that entrance, I saw a parking lot. So I moved toward the, um, toward the parking lot. As I came out, I saw a very unusual vehicle. Now, for those of you, I'm sure you've, you've seen this, there's this sort of skateboard called a one wheel where people will stand on this thing like a skateboard and it's got one wheel and it moves around, it's electric. So this is what I want you to do for a moment. I want you to imagine a one wheel, but you know what? Maybe that wouldn't be a good comparison. I guess what I'm thinking, and you know, I'm, I'm trying to make this as clear as possible because this was a very unusual vehicle that I saw. I guess you can think of terms of the one wheel, but it was a much bigger wheel, like a tire, like a car would have, or maybe a motorcycle. And then attach that to a carriage. So there was a carriage and then there was a one wheel and this carriage could fit, I believe, one person. And when I say carriage, for those of you who have been to Disneyland and you go through the whole haunted house part of it, right? And then you go into the part where you get into those carriages, you know, where they're, they're, they're going down this sort of belt each of them, like a bunch of them going down this belt. That's what I mean by a carriage. It was a single carriage and it was big. It was big. It was, wasn't the size of a car, but you know, it looked like it was much smaller than that. And the behind it, but I also remember when I, when I went out behind it, the, the, the back of it was curved. So it was curved like those carriages in Disneyland. And instead of it being black, like the ones in Disneyland, this was a mirrored surface on this. That's what I remember, a mirrored surface. And there was a single blue dot in the center of it, a single blue dot. And it was rolling away from me. Now, this thing was completely silent. So what I imagine is that it was electric. Again, I know that they've been working on uh, different things with one-wheeled vehicles, and I've seen a few things, but this was far more advanced. It may be something, who knows, maybe we'll see that in the future. I can't say that I was getting a glimpse of the future. I, I'm never sure about this. My first thought or my first feeling usually is, is that this is some sort of parallel universe. And that's what I'm thinking it was. But we have been building toward that uh, with these one wheeled things that we're doing. And we've started with it. I'm sure that the concepts are there. Anyway, as I was watching this one wheeled vehicle go away. I was really, really focused on it. And at that point, I lost my grip. It was done. So again, this was a very, very quick experience. Anyway, I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts or if you have any questions or anything that wasn't clear or you needed clarification, I would be happy to try and make it more clear for you. Thank you so much for coming on another journey with me.
And until next time, take care.